going to come in with the fuchsia body coil, catch it behind the eye of the hook, take a few wraps toward the rear and snip off the excess, and take another two or three wraps toward the bend. Then I'm going to bring in black Vivas thread here. This is 14 knot. I've got this on a bobbin already. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tag end of this thread and very simply I'm going to come underneath the quill and I'm going to drape it back over that quill. That's going to allow me just to slide it down into that tying point. And I'm going to try to keep it on the far side of the hook shank as I tie this in. So take a few wraps and I'm going to let that bobbin hang and just snip that tag end off. I'm take another couple more wraps until we start to work our way down the hook bend. And then I'm going to start to return that body quill to the front, just laying down nice side-by-side -side wraps. Once I get to the eye of the hook, I'm going to secure it with just a two-turn whip finish. Just snug that up, give it a nice little tug, make sure it's tightened down. And then just snip that off with the scissors. And before I bring this thread forward, I'm going to give it a nice clockwise spin. And that's going to tighten it up so that my segmentation is nice and thin. I'm looking to lay down about five wraps here. I'll let that thread hang right there. I'm going to bring in the tinsel. And I'm going to take this and I'm actually going to cut a little bit of a 45 degree angle. Which is going to create just a little bit of a tip for me. I do that so that it's a little easier to catch with the thread. So I want to hold this about perpendicular to the hook shank. Catch that tip of it, two or three good wraps, and then just let that thread sit over there by the eye of the hook. You want two full complete wraps of the tinsel. There's one, two, you come over the top, cinch that down, take a wrap or two behind the eye, and snip that off. I'm going to take the thread and I'm very simply going to build up a little bit of a thread head here. It's going to be kind of an accent on the front part of the fly for us. And then I'm going to come in and whip finish it. Snug that down. Be sure it's nice and tight. And snip that off. I'm going to bring in a little bit of epoxy here and I just use a blend end bodkin to spread this out. We want to be sparse with the epoxy. You want that nice transparent clear coat, but you don't want to build up the profile of the fly in any unnecessary way. So we're just looking for that little bit of protective coat and sheen without affecting the natural poke profile of it. So I've got that worked in there. I'm going to set it aside and let it dry for five minutes.